When it comes to the internet, we all want it faster, more speed, more speed, more speed. So how do you actually find out what your speed rates are at? Well, joining us now on the 702 Communications line, 702 Communications, keeping us connected, is the CEO of 702 Communications, Brian Cromit. Brian, great to have you with us. How are you, Thanks my friend? Thanks for having me. I'm doing well, doing well. So you are the, the king of speed at 702, but let's talk about it because I think right now, especially because everybody seems to be online all the time, it's like, wait, how do I get this like yesterday? What are yeah. some best ways to go out and uh, check my speed and make sure I'm getting what I'm paying for? You know, it can be really frustrating if you're at home and, and you're trying to work or you're trying to watch TV or do whatever you're doing, doing on the internet. Um, and, and to have to wait or to have to be disconnected or, or whatever. And so uh, one of the go-tos is immediately everybody's going to, you know, pick up their phone or pick up their device and try to run a speed test. Um, and, and speed tests are a good tool for you to assess um, if something's wrong with your, your connection or if maybe you don't have enough of something. Um, but there are some things that you need to consider when you're running a speed test that maybe you aren't thinking about. Um, um, when you when you just click that button. And so I wanted to take a couple minutes and just talk about, you know, the best way to run a speed test, to know if you're actually getting what you're paying for at home. Um, and the, the number one thing is, if you're gonna get a really accurate speed test, you gotta plug a computer with an ethernet cable into your router. And I, I know that most of our <laughs> devices are wireless and, and that's how we wanna do our speed test. But that there's there's two sides of the internet, right? There's the, the WAN connection from your provider to you, and there's the LAN connection inside your house. And the WAN connection is, is what you really need to test um, because that's what your provider is really obligated to provide you. Uh, so if you plug in a computer uh, directly to your router and you run that speed test at speedtest.net, um, you're gonna get the best speed test. I did one earlier here in the office from my PC um, knowing that I was a, on a 100 meg connection and I got 93 down and 93 up. So that's pretty darn good. But then I pulled out my phone on the wireless here and I got 30 down and 30 up. Um, so, so there's not a problem with my connection you know, for, to the provider, right? But there are various things that might affect the Wi-Fi. And so Wi-Fi isn't always the best way to check a speed test um, to, to really understand where your problem might be. That is fascinating because everything now is, you know, obviously wirelessly connected, if you will. So how, what are some things I can be doing then to improve that, that speed via Wi-Fi? Yeah, so um, one of the things, I mean, and, and you might want to call a provider and have them do some sort of analysis of, of the Wi-Fi in your home, because we can tell, um, if we walk through, we can tell where the hot spots are, where there maybe isn't enough coverage. Uh, maybe if there's interference from some other source, but that's that's really the thing. If you're standing next to the Wi-Fi router, you're probably going to get a better speed test than if you're on the other side of the house or on your patio or, or whatever, where you might still see some bars of signal, but you're not going to get the full bandwidth that's available uh, to the internet there. Uh, and, and likewise, like I say, if, if your router's on one side of the house and you're in a bedroom on the other side of the house, there might not be enough coverage or there might be too many walls that that Wi-Fi is trying to get through um, for you to really get all of the speed that, that you that you need. And so it might be, you know, a mesh Wi-Fi system or it might be moving the router, or it might be uh, changing the channel that you're broadcasting on. So there's a number of things that you can do uh, to optimize the Wi-Fi in your home if you're seeing a problem like that. But it's important to know, you know, that, that if you're testing uh, something less than you're subscribing for on your Wi-Fi, it might not be because your provider's you know, not delivering what they promised, it might be something that's wrong with the, with the devices in your home. And that's when we pick up the phone and call you. So how do we get a hold of you, sir? I've got the help desk technicians, I've got managed service uh, uh, technicians uh, on staff, and uh, you can call us just at our main line, 284-5702, and talk to any of them. Of course, you can get help uh, if you chat with us on our website, 702com.com, shoot us a message on Facebook, uh, and then, and we will try to get you the answers and get you the best uh, internet experience you can have. Beautiful. 702com.com here on our 702 Communications line with the CEO of 702 Communications, Brian Cromit. Brian, I always appreciate the insight. Thank you very much, sir. Thanks, Chris. All right, stay with us. we got a lot more coming up right here on Point of View. Please share your point of view with us. You can email us, text us, leave us a voicemail. We'll be right back.